What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free uh, oracle card reading for sign of Cancer. This could resonate if you have Cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading for sign of Cancer for May of 2022. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,290 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to provide the link to the description box below. PayPal only, no cash at Movenmo. It's a very uh, private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate if you donate through my PayPal. Thanks for all the love and support. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It helps support one of a single mom's income streams. So just saying, just saying. Um, I received one channel message for you guys as I was meditating on your energy for May of 2022. So I'm going to share it. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, this could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, also, I encourage everyone to check out their other sign placements um, to get messages in the other signs for your placements if you want to do so. Or you're welcome to cross watch the other signs if you would like. Um, okay, so the channel message I received was um, some shocking events are about to happen soon in a cancer's life. It's about to make you make decisions you never thought you would. That's what I heard. So you, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in your own life, how it resonates. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet for whoever that's for. It sounds like it's about to. Spirit messages, you have a sign of cancer. So some kind of shocking events are about to happen in a cancer's life that's about to make you make decisions you never thought you would make. So whoever you are and how this resonates in one's life, cancer, some kind of shocking events. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe for you. Um, it sounds like some kind of shocking events that's going to, I think, affect your life or affect someone connected to you, to your life. However, that resonates. Um, and it's going to make you make decisions you never thought you would make. Um, I think previously. So, um, however, that plugs into one's life cancer. Uh, only you know your story, not anybody else. Spirit messages, you have a sign of cancer. If you think anyone else could um, would like my channel, you guys, or benefit from spiritual downloads, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos, social media, and word of mouth, I'd very much appreciate it. Spirit messages, you have a sign of cancer. Some people affect people's lives in a very positive way, and some people affect people's lives in a very negative way. Uh, cancer is becoming highly intuitive, and they're starting to realize this. It's about to, it's changing their perspective in a huge way. Leaving leaving religious and spiritual beliefs out of it. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. So um, I think one of you guys is having a huge wake-up call or is about to have a huge wake-up call um, about how people affect, how certain people affect other people's lives. Um, I heard it's leaving real religious and spiritual beliefs out of it. So maybe your religious or spiritual beliefs held, um, held you into a certain mindset in the past or held somebody else into a certain mindset in the past. But how that resonates, it's leaving religious and certain religious and spiritual beliefs out of it this time, it sounds like. It sounds like you are really leaving certain religious and spiritual beliefs out of it this time. But it sounds like you've, you've already reflected on how, like, it sounds like you've reflected or is starting to reflect on how people affect other people's lives, either in a positive or a negative sense. Um, and it's going to is starting to change your mindset and perspective of things, um, whoever you are and how this applies cancer, um, or is going to start uh, affecting your mindset. How that resonates in your life, cancer. Um, wow, that's pretty deep, but it's a really good one. I heard some shocking events were um, going to um, occur soon and make you make decisions you never thought you would make. This is one of the animal spirits that got, uh, spirit cards that got out. The electric eel. 
that's shocking events. Um, the electric eel spirit is. Um, and you could be dealing with another water sign, possibly, um, because that's water sign energy. But that's ironic. I got that download and then I got that card. So confirmation, double confirmation in the reading already. And we're not even really into the reading. So you plug it in how it resonates. I just heard take it. Wow. I didn't even shuffle. I've got storm spirit chaos on the bottom of the deck. I heard take it. Good Lord. Number 42 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 42, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 42, also we had 24 and 7 down here as well. 24, 7, 42. Chaos, um, chaos, storm spirit. A cancer is about to be pulled into some serious chaos soon. For one, one is about to witness some serious chaos soon of another situation. It is about to open their eyes in a huge way. Huge way. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys, I heard you're about to be pulled into some chaos soon. It's about to open your eyes. So it sounds like you are about to be pulled into it. So you're going to be in the middle of the line of fire kind of energy is what I'm feeling. For another one of you guys, you're going to witness chaos. So it sounds like you're going to be on the sidelines witnessing the chaos for some. For some, you will actually physically be pulled into it. But how that resonates, I heard uh, it's going to open your eyes. It's going to, once this happens, whether you witness the chaos on the sidelines or you are physically pulled into it in the middle line of fire as type energy. Um, I heard it's going to open your eyes. It's going to open you out, your eyes and make you realize some things that you did not realize in the past is what I'm feeling here. So chaos and conflict energy. Um, one, it sounds like someone or some people is um, going to free willingly pull you into some chaos for some. And I hate that for anybody. I do. Um, but for some, you're going to witness chaos that you're not going to be a part of on the sidelines. But how that resonates, you're, it's going to open, it's going to, it's like wake up call energy, open your eyes to, I think, something you didn't know in the past or give you a different perspective of something you didn't realize in the past. How that resonates. Spirit messages you have signs answer. Transcending. Number 28 could also be a very significant number in one's life as well. Number 28. And also, I'm kind of jumping around in here in this reading. You know, usually I go here, I go down, I go down. But I was, to, um, I was told to get the chaos card, which was on the bottom of the deck. So, I feel for some of you guys, like... Your life is just there, it's just like jumping, jumping, jumping around. Like, you know, you do one thing and then you come back, and then you it's like it's half finished, or you want to finish it, but you can't because you got to do another thing. Like, I just feel like a lot of things going on, like a lot of things going on, and it's like tending to one thing after one thing after one thing after one thing, and it's like you want to finish it or complete it, but you can't because you've got another thing going on kind of thing, which might be part of the chaos as well, is what I'm feeling for some. You could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign because you have water sign and fire sign energy in here. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, another water sign, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hamid, Jupiter charts because you have water sign energy and fire sign energy. Bring your ideas to life.
And Cancer has a home business. And they have really been slacking recently. It would be smart to, to get on that. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. A cancer has a home business. It would be smart to, um, sounds like you, if this resonates for you, you have a home business, cancer. I heard you've been slacking. It'd be smart to get on that. So um, bring your ideas to life. Um, you might have wonderful ideas that you've been putting off and putting off and putting off regarding this home business. It sounds like you were the owner and CEO of this home business. It sounds like you are the, the main person, the boss. Um, but you've been slacking. Um, I heard to be smart to, um, to get on it. So, you know, incorporate your ideas into it, bring originality to it, bring, you know, um, it, it sounds like it's your business. So, you know, um, bring your own flair to it and, um, get moving on it. Of course you can choose to listen to the spiritual messages or not, but one of you guys is slacking on your home business. Um, and I feel maybe if some of you guys do, that might bring shocking, positive changes to it, possibly with the um, shocking, the ill shock. So shocking energy here with the ill energy is what I'm feeling. Sweet results away. A particular conversation with a police investigator is going to be very significant in a cancer's life soon. And one cancer is going to return stolen money of the past to the police. Do the right thing. Oh, wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. This is a good one, Cancer. So um, whoever you are, I heard a particular conversation with a police investigator is going to come very significant in a Cancer's life. Um, I don't feel you are the police here. I feel you are a person going to the police. Um, and I heard um, it's going to become very significant in your life. And it might be the same person or it might be a different one, but somebody's about to return stolen money to the police soon. So sweet results away. Um, I heard do the right thing. So I think you have been in turmoil about stealing money from person, people, place, family, situation in the past, and you want to do the right thing and you're about to return the money to the police. So how that resonates in your life for some, you could have stole money from a fire sign, possibly. Um, I'm not saying you did, but you might have, um, cause we have fire sign energy in here. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Cancer. But at least one of you guys is about to return stolen money to the police. And one of you guys is about to conversate with a police investigator. Now, whether they contact you or you free willingly contact them. How that resonates in your life, Cancer. Also, I want to say, number seven, we have seven out here straight up. But... Seven, I feel is very, 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 very significant for somebody because 28, 42, 24, seven, seven is, um, that is seven is a main number of 28. Seven is the main number of 42. It's not a 24, but still, I mean, I think seven is very, seven is very, very, very significant for someone in here. Very significant. Okay, that's confirmation. I heard seven is very significant. Seven is very significant for someone. I was just looking at the numbers and I, it seven is a breakdown of 42. Seven is a breakdown of 28. Um, not a 24, but still. Um, and we have seven clearly in here. And I, confirmation from spiritual realm, seven is very significant for somebody. So one of you guys, number seven is very significant for one of you guys. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Ant, work, achievement, success. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. A 
A particular cancer was really, really trying. For some, trying to get into their neighbor's pants. For some, trying to win the love of a prostitute. However, both of those situations have backfired and they're going to continue to backfire. Trying to get out of it now. One cancer will be successful in this. It's how, in, it's how you're about to handle things. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, dear God Almighty. So if this resonates for you, one of you guys, I heard you were trying to get into your neighbor's pants. So you were trying to sleep with your neighbor? <laughs> if this resonates with you. It doesn't sound like you were successful in that. Um, at, not at all. According to downloads. It doesn't sound like you were su 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 successful at all. Sorry. Blah. Mercury retrograde. Um, upcoming. Just saying. Um, I heard you were trying to get into your neighbor's pants. So it doesn't sound like you were successful. Sound like you really want to have sex with your neighbor. Um, but it hasn't happened. Uh, they're obviously not interested sexually in you. Um, however, that resonates. Um, and one of you guys, I heard um, you were, so one, you were trying to sleep with your neighbor because you're sexually attracted to your neighbor. Um, how that resonates and one you were trying to win the love of a prostitute I heard I heard but both of those situations have backfired so you might be in one of these situations or you might be in none of these situations or you might be in both of these situations only you know your story not anybody else but how that resonates somebody out there in the universe these situations apply whether one both or none of them apply um, and um, I heard basically um, they but they have backfired they have backfired so whoever whatever cancer has been trying to sleep with their neighbor it hasn't occurred um and the cancer that tr was trying to win over the love of a prostitute i heard that's not that hasn't occurred either both of them has backfired they backfired and i heard they're going to continue to backfire so too much concern with sexual matters um that to me that's trying to sleep with your neighbor it sounds like strictly sexual and carnal there and some trying to win the love over of a prostitute. Well, for anybody that doesn't know, I've never been a prostitute, never want to be a prostitute, not interested in prostituting, just period. I don't believe that you should have to pay for sex. Um, and I'm serious about that. I don't believe you should have to pay for sex, period, bar none, period. I believe if you want to have sex with somebody, you shouldn't have to pay them. And I'm serious about that because that's, um, but prostitutes, they, it's a business for them. Just like this is my business. And yes, I love doing this. And yes, I was gifted for the spiritual realm to be able to deliver the spiritual realm uh, messages. And I love having this business and doing this for y'all. But this is a business for me. It is. Me getting on here and um, delivering the messages, it is a business. Even though I love doing this and I love this as a business and I wouldn't change it for the world. It is a business for me, so I have to watch what I put on here. I have to watch what I say. I have to make sure my my I have my copyright for um, my channel. I had to make sure I did what I needed to do business-wise for my channel, is what I'm saying, and watch what I say on here and how I conduct myself and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Same goes for prostitutes is what I'm saying. Prostitutes, it is a business for them. They make money just like I make money off this channel and with my readings and things like that. So they they don't go and have i read cards and i deliver channel messages from the spiritual realm that's my business prostitutes business is to sleep with people it's sex sex is their business so when they go out and they have sex with people they are supposed to look sexy they're supposed to bring the bring the walk bring the sexy um put the moves on somebody in a sexual manner because that is their job but once they're done with their job, they're done with it. Meaning there's no, there's no feelings there because they're not supposed to be because they're, at the end of the day, they were called to bring in a service for a certain amount of money. They will deliver their service in a sexual manner because that is part of their job. And then they will leave with their money. Just like any business. So one of you guys was trying to get your prostitute to fall in love with you uh, but that's not their mindset going into that their mindset is how much money are you paying me for your my business services i.e my walk i.e my 
sexual services to you. That's not how prostitutes look at it is what I'm trying to say. So um, that's probably why it's backfired on you because prostitutes do not look at sexual services in a love sense. They look at it in a money sense. And I'm being serious about that. Just like us business owners, even though I love doing this for you guys and it's not all about money for me by any stretch on here it's just that i have to look at this channel as a business because it is my business i have to watch what i say and my copyrights and protect myself i'm sure they protect themselves too and they don't well i would hope well i don't know i don't know I'm, i've never been a prostitute but what i'm saying is i'm sure they guard their heart that they don't go into 500 dollars to make you holler to fall in love with you is what i'm saying they do it for 500 dollars. is what i'm saying and work achievement success. Someone is having a huge wake up call. Or someone is having a huge wake up call. I mean, I, I hopefully that helps somebody. Um, Cause that's, a, that's at least for one of you guys out in the universe. Somebody's got a prostitute or had a prostitute and you basically want them to fall in love with you. But the thing is, is prostitutes, they don't, that's not how they look at it. I, I'm presuming that's not how they look at it because if I've never been a prostitute, but if I ever was, I would not look at it as trying to fall in love with the client. I would look at it as ha um, negotiating the best deal, the most amount of money for my sexual services, period, bar none. Now, I've never been a prostitute, never accepted money for sex. But if I was, that's how I would look at it. And I'm serious about that. And, and any, I would presume prostitutes probably do look at it that way. That's how I would look at it. And work achievement and success. A cancer is about to get an award at, in their workspace soon. Through many series of chain events, they're about to create. Some increased distrib distribution and production in their company. Some huge changes on their floor, healthcare. Some about to expose a crime wide open, wide open. judge oh my god whoa so you plug it in how it resonates and another cancer judge is about to be exposed for prostitution holy crap wow this is so juicy so you plug it in how it resonates oh my gosh so at least three of you guys is about to get some kind of achievement at work soon it sounds like it hasn't happened yet it sounds like it's about to um it sounds like the three people about to do this, you work in three completely different sectors. One, you work um, production, production and distribution in your company. So whatever company that is that involves production and distribution, to me, that could be a million different companies. I'm thinking like Amazon or FedEx or something like that, but it really could be any company that involves um, production and di distribution. But it sounds like you're about to increase production and distribution and you're about to be recognized for that. So success uh, for your work achievement. So congrats to category one, if that resonates for you. Category two, um, you work in the healthcare sector and I heard on your floor, um, you made huge changes on your floor and somehow these huge changes have um, increased some kind of success on your floor in some shape, form or fashion. I feel you might be a manager, boss, supervisor or something of that nature in the healthcare sector. Um, whoever you are, cancer for category two. Um, and so you're about to be um, recognized for that, which that's beautiful. And category three, I heard you're a judge. You're a judge, of, um, you're a judge about to expose a huge ass crime. And one judge is about to be exposed for prostitution. So I don't know in category three cancer, um, you, I feel you can be masculine or feminine for any of these, because I didn't hear masculine or feminine for any of these. So I feel you can be masculine or femme. You plug yourself in where you resonate. But for category three, 
you're about to expose a huge ass crime and you're a judge. So a very, you know, a judge, you're a very, very, very high position of authority, um, a huge crime. But the exposure of the other judge for prostitution, it makes me wonder if you're about to expose the other judge for prostitution um, and the huge crimes. Um, I don't know. Only you know you're showing at anybody else. But whether you are not exposing the other judge for prostitution or you are, um, you are about to expose a huge, huge crime. And it's going to lead to huge achievement and success. I think, you're, I think the other judges are probably going to... Um, once you get success in this for exposing this, and I'm assuming once you expose it, you're going to create many series of chain events to lock up the criminal or criminals um, and get the ball rolling with, um, you know, quelching the crime and, and getting it, you know, um, taken care of, whatever it is. Um, I'm sure you're going to earn lots of respect from your other judge peers is what I'm trying to say. Um, whether you expose the other judge for prostitution or not, I didn't hear who was going to uh, expose the other judge for prostitution. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. That's really beautiful. So work achievement and success, whatever category you fall into, whether you're in production and distribution, healthcare, or a judge. How that resonates. Wow. And that could be the sweet result results await too with the work achievement and success. Wow, that's beautiful, Ketsa. And I really strongly feel, I just want to say, I really strongly feel somebody is dealing with fire sign. This is fire sign energy with the ant energy and fire sign energy. I strongly feel somebody is dealing with fire sign, either in a positive or a negative sense. And I'm serious about that. And Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midham, or Jupiter charts, if you are. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. A particular cancer feminine is about to realize a strong, very strong bond they had with another feminine energy that takes on very heavy masculine was a huge facade and lie. Huge facade. They are about to cut this person out and move on. Wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates, but at least you're realizing it, Cancer. At least you're realizing it, whoever you are and how this applies in your life. It's a very strong bond i heard a friendship bond which bonds are you know friendship bonds are strong um, if it's loyalty respect integrity morals and values involved in it but it sounds like there has not been any and it sounds like you just found this out or you're about to find this out and you're about to cut this person off i heard it's a feminine it's a fem energy your fem energy and this other person is a fem energy too but i heard the other the other person you are the fem energy cancer but the other person is a femme energy, but she takes on heavy, heavy, heavy masculine energy. So strong in her masculine energy, whoever this person is in your life. But you already found out about the lies and deception and the huge facade energy, basically, or you're about to. Um, you're either, I heard you're about to cut her off. You're about to cut her off. It sounds like that hasn't happened yet. So you either already found out about the lies and deception and all this crazy shit, or you're about to. But however that resonates, you're about to cut her off. So because you realized it was a huge facade and lie, whoever you are and how this applies cancer. So you thought there was a huge bond there. You thought there was a huge bond. It sounds like you gave your all to that friendship. It sounds like you were honest and truthful and loyal to this person, but they were not to you. So, or either not to you or to somebody else. Um, and you're realizing this and you realize this person is not good for you or you're about to realize it and you're about to cut this person off. I heard it's a feminine energy with that holds very, very, very heavy masculine energy. So whoever this person is in your life, I didn't hear a sign on this person. Um, so you thought there was a huge bond there. It sounds like you gave your all to this person, but they didn't give it to you. It sounds like they tennis horse you in the back or they tennis horse somebody else in the back. And you don't, you're not down with that, basically. You're not down with lies and deception and backstabbing and betrayal and all that. So you're about to cut them off. So that's beautiful.
And a cancer is about to form a bond with another person. A lot like you. A lot, lot, lot like you. It's going, they're going to be very good for your life. A strong friendship will be formed there. New person. Well, that's beautiful if that resonates for you, Cancer. Okay. So I feel you can be masculine or feminine for that one, whoever you are for that. Um, it's a um, fem energy. I mean, I'm sorry, not fem. You can be masculine or fem. You can be masculine or feminine. Um, but you, um, you, uh, you're you about to meet this person. It's a new person. You're about to meet them. And I heard they're a lot, lot, lot like you. A lot like you. So you, um, you're a lot alike. Um, whoever you are and how this applies in your life. It's a new person. You haven't met them yet. They're a lot like you. They're the same sex of you. Um, you're about to meet them soon. And I heard the friendship is going to, um, it's going to, it sounds like it's going to grow uh, strong and deep and quickly. But it's probably because there's so much like you. Y'all probably have a lot of common, a lot of goals, aspirations, and a lot of things to talk about. And it's going to form the bond quickly. Um, it sounds like they honor, trust, respect morals values and integrity um, it sounds like they have those things um and hopefully they will utilize them towards you which will be very 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 positive that's beautiful all right let's see if i hear anything else with this with this one i already did already did this one but i'm gonna do it again A cancer realizes there has been a huge, huge, huge cover-up. A huge cover-up. They're about to expose it. Expose the huge cover-up. Okay, I heard a cancer realizes there, was, there has been a huge, huge, huge cover-up. They're about to expose the huge cover-up. So, um, I think there's chaos going to be involved with the exposure of the huge uh, cover-up. Um, you know this needs to be done. Okay, I heard you know this needs to be done. I heard you know this needs to be done. So there's been a huge cover-up in some shape, form, or fashion, however this applies in your life, Cancer. But you know this huge, um, this exposure of this huge cover-up needs to be done. So um, I think it's going to create chaos for some people's lives, but I think it's going to bring sweet results to you because you're going to be the hero in this. You're going to be... I think you're going to be a hero in this, and you're going to help expose it. So you plug it in how it resonates. I think you're going to give people justice that should have gotten justice all along, is what I think. Um, and you're going to be a hero. Transcending. A cancer has had a huge awakening, a huge, huge, huge awakening. They're very disgusted of events of the past. They're about to become very, very dedicated to bringing several people down prison time, and it will be effective. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some cancer is on a freaking war path, or they're about to become in a war path, wherever you are, cancer, and how this applies. Um, you've had a huge awakening. And that could be some of the chaos energy too, because awakenings are never pretty. I've had several wake, um, spiritual awakenings inside myself. Um, they're never pretty. They're never organized. They're never beautiful, but they are necessary for spiritual growth for me. Of course, I can only speak on myself, not anybody else. Um, but how that resonate? Um, it's some kind of awakening energy, I think, inside yourself, which has caused chaos inside yourself. But it, that happens for everybody. I just want to let you know if you didn't know that. It really does. Um, but I think it's been positive for you because I heard you are very, very disgusted of some events that have happened in the past, but you're about to basically bring them to the light. You're about to bring them to the light. And um, it's about to, I think it's going to create chaos for other people, but it's going to give you, it's giving you awakening energy and it's going to elevate you, which is going to be the sweet results await as well which I think is very, very beautiful and positive for you. 
Um, I think you're about to expose a lot of dirty, dirty, dirty shit that happened in the past. That's exactly what I think for at least one of you guys. And I'm, I'm serious. Um, one of you guys, I heard you're about to be on a war path. Um, you're about to be on a war path. And, um, but in a positive way. I don't think like going out into the streets and getting an unlicensed gun, unregistered gun, and just mowing people down out of anger and craziness. I think in a very positive way with the use of your words and information, it might be police involvement, Fed involvement, um, positive legal route way possibly for some of these situations. I didn't hear that, but that's what I'm feeling for some. I think in a positive way, you're about to be a storm angel, um, masculine or feminine, you're about to be a storm angel in a positive way with sweet results. Bless you. And I think you're going to bring yourself justice or other people justice in a situation that should have been brought justice late, period, bar none, um, in the past is what I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. Information a particular cancer is about to provide is going to lead several people to jail and prison and um, start many investigations and bring up investigations from the past. But it is very necessary. It needs to be done. Okay, so you plug it in. Somebody's about to be a huge game changer. A cancer is about to be a huge game changer. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. This is what we got, Thief and Courthouse. I heard a cancer is about to um, bring some huge information to the light. Um, whoever you are, cancer, and how this resonates. Um, it, and it's about to basically be game changer for a lot of people. Positively for you, negatively for the uh, criminal or criminals. Um, whoever you are and how this applies. You're about to be a storm angel, masculine or feminine. Um, you're tired of corruption, whoever you are. You're tired of corruption and you want to bring it to the forefront. And you're about to get yourself justice or several other people justice. I heard several people will go to jail for this and prison down the line. So it's serious crime or crimes. I mean, it's not anything to me messing around with. Seriously. Number 24 or 23 can be a very significant number in one's life. I heard one of you guys was going to return stolen money to the police earlier in the reading. So one of you guys is definitely a thief, but you're about to make it right by returning to stolen money. A cancer police officer is about to be exposed. Dirty cop cancer police officer about to be exposed by an ex. Viewing through a hidden camera in the past. They're about to have their children taken away from them because of testimony in the court of law. It is about to piss off this dirty cop cancer police officer in a huge way. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. I heard a dirty cop, cancer police officer. This, I feel they could be masculine or feminine. They're currently a law enforcement official, whoever they are. Um, I heard they're a dirty cop. So, um, and yeah, they are if they viewed through a hidden camera in the past uh, in somebody's home or space or what have you. That's dirty. I mean, you're law enforcement official. You're supposed to protect and serve the community, not exploit them through viewing through a hidden camera. If anybody needs to hear that, and I'm just being serious. Um, but this cancer police officer apparently likes to voyeur secretly through hidden cameras in people's spaces. Um, but I heard one of their exes knows that they did this. One of their exes knows that they did this. And it sounds like the ex is about to take them to the court of law and get custody of child or children from them because they know the information that this dirty cop police officer um, viewed through the hidden camera of somebody's home in the past. And it sounds like the ex is gonna win custody. I heard it's gonna win custody of children. They're, I heard they're gonna lose custody. They're gonna lose custody. So I'm assuming the ex is gonna win custody because they know information on this. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, holy 
crap. Wow. Huge, huge, huge wake up calls here. Huge. I heard huge, huge, huge wake up calls here. Yeah, I would say. And that could be the chaos energy too. This dirty cop cancer police officer is about to be in for it. It's um, They're about to have huge chaos in their life because they refuse to, I mean, they're, you can't do that to somebody. That's evading rights and liberties and everything that's good about our country and our world. And that's just the truth. Let me see if I have anything else. A cancer is about to have so much chaos in their life. They're about to reveal very important information on the Gemini. Very, very, very important information. Some on a Gemini, some on a Libra. Some on a Capricorn, bless you. Some on a Leo. Okay, I heard a um, uh, cancer is about to have so much heavy chaos in their life. They're about to reveal um, some very important information. Whoever you are, Cancer, and how this resonates. That could be the chaos energy, too. Some on a Gemini, some on a... Um, some on a Gemini, some on a Libra, some on a Leo, some on a Cap Capricorn. So, um, Gemini, uh, Libra, Capricorn, Leo, and um, who was the other one? Um, Gemini. They can have any of those in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. But um, it sounds like it's because this particular Cancer, whoever you are, you're about to have so much chaos in your life. Um, it could be about hidden camera energy. It could be this situation with the dirty cop cancer or not. I'm not sure, but this is a, woo wee, this one is, woo. But I've been picking up a lot of people about to lose custody of children soon because the exes are finding out information that they are basically have been voyeuring through somebody's house in a, with a hidden illegal camera. Um, and they never tried to help the person. So, they're going to take him to the court of law to get gain custody because that's abuse uh, and exploitation of people. I mean, and that's that's fair. If I knew my ex was doing that to somebody, if I knew my ex-husband was um, voyeuring through somebody's home or space or vehicle through a hidden camera, illegal voyeur camera, I would do it in a New York minute myself. So I don't blame those people, not at all. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and have a wonderful day and namaste.